All right, here's how to install the uh, document storage into panel B, the right side of a 2015 or later Yamaha R1. Quick note, I really only did this because I had the part. But as you can kind of see, that's our document box, this little black thing here. Um, it's completely inaccessible and you can't really get to it from up here because it's flush with this piece of trim. So, yeah, that's how you install it, but it's kind of useless. So, first you got to take off these little quick release tabs. You got one, one quick release tab here, and then your little hex nut here. You can use the provided um, one from the, uh, the tail, and these are the only tools you need. It's pretty simple. I'm using the pencil here just so I don't mar up the plastic. Just push in the middle. They snap and then they uh, they come out pretty easy. Shouldn't need anything else there. And then this one bolt. There we go. Now this black piece of plastic is separate from this. So what you're gonna do, because this piece is pretty flexible, you can get your thumb under here, you peel it back, and then this should just push it forward and up to remove it, just like that. You're gonna to wanna to turn the steering the other direction. Now this is all snapped into place. Okay, so under here you can see there's a little uh, rubber retainer with a plastic clip. So if you just push, that'll that'll come out. That's it, I'm gonna do it from the other. All right, this is a little harder when I try to do it one-handed, but it should be fine. Um, and when I did this the first time, I'm actually doing this twice. Yeah, it is pretty loud. Don't be alarmed. Um, it sounds bad, but it's okay. The other clips are not rubber retainers. There are just tabs along this. So all you gotta do is give this a little swift pull. Okay. So now that this is off, this is all you need to remove. If you have this black plastic piece, it will come with these retainer clips. Okay, so if you've not installed this before, you're going to take this piece off right like I showed. And it's going to look like this, except for these two metal tabs. Now when I got this, I was given this document storage box separate with these tabs and with these two little uh, bolts. So it's pretty obvious the way that it goes on. Um, you can flip it around. There's this little tab that just goes into here. It doesn't snap in. And then the rest just sort of lines up. You can see bolt hole to bolt hole. So you can put those those two nuts in place and get it tightened down. All right, I got these all fastened together. Um, putting it back in is pretty easy. You just gotta slide this in just in a way that makes it work. Make sure to get this little black plastic thing underneath. There you go. Uh, should be pretty easy to line this thing up with the hole. Give that a push. Um, and this part um, snaps in far easier then it snaps out, so um, let's give it a little push. Make sure that this one's in all the way. Cool, you might need to wipe this off because it'll be covered in fingerprints, but that should be it. You can take this black plastic piece, turn your steering again, the other, other way, open this area up. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so you want to start on the bottom here in, the, in this part, let's get these all snapped in in a row. This piece is pretty flexible, so this shouldn't be super hard. Do one, two, keep bending it. Three, all right, now while you're flexing this, that, that next one should go in, and it should, all of those nubs have little recessed pockets like there that they fall into, and so it'll, it'll sort of fall into position. Um, I'd recommend putting this back on your little hex piece to get it in because the uh, the hole is pretty recessed there and I was unable to thread it with my hand. Actually, maybe I can do it right now and we're good. Okay, cool. Um, and then last but not least, you have... I had to find it there for a sec. So you have these black plastic retainers that you pushed in. Make sure to pop them back up in this. This is their open position. 
If you sort of grab them by this, this is really the easiest way to do it. You can get it into position. Push it down. Hear the little snap, you're good. I'm gonna tighten this. And then that is it. And your little document container is installed. Yeah, that's how you install it, but it's kind of useless. So thanks for watching.